market is dynamic. You are not getting more return. You are getting the same return with lesser risk. Momentum loves a bull market. Momentum is equal to speed. Value is equal to price. Quality is equal to strength. Multi-factor models in India. Welcome back, dosto. Till now, we have spoken about momentum, value, quality as separate strategies. But the market is never linear. Hota. Factors rise and fall like seasons. Momentum loves a bull market. Or value performs in recoveries. And quality performs in crisis. But one factor is risky. Hai. That's why we need multi-factor investing. Blending signals so your portfolio adopts through market cycles. Let's understand a bit more. Let's get a bit nerdy. Every factor has a return premium and a drawdown period. In India, Nifty Momentum Index last 10 years beat Nifty 50 by 6% CAGR but had painful drawdowns in two years. You would remember those years, 2018 and 2022. Value indices shine after crashes but can underperform for long stretches. Sometimes it doesn't come But then next two years, everything goes on. Quality is stable but often lags in sharp rallies. If you combine factors, the probability that all underperform together is much lower. This is called diversification of styles. It's like cricket team. Kabhi Virat scores, kabhi Rohit, kabhi Bhumra saves the day. Team jeet jati hai, kyunki sab ek hi vakt mein fail nahi hote. So how multi-factor model works? Well, choose factors like momentum, which can be gained from 6-month, 12-month returns. Value from price to earning, price to book value, EV to EBITDA. Quality from return on equity, debt to EBITDA. Plus, put some risk filters on it. Standardize the data. So convert this whatever you have got into a score from 0 to 100. Now we need to give some weights to all of these factors, equal or dynamic weights. Now we can get dynamic weights using AI, but for now we let's give them equal weight. Rank and select stocks, so top 30 stocks by composite score. Now rebalancing, quarterly rebalancing or a monthly rebalancing depending on turnover tolerance. Now we backtest in India shows blended approach reduces volatility by 20 to 25% while keeping the alpha intact. Yani return utna hi, lekin risk bahut kam ho gaya. That's the advantage of a multi-factor model. Now remember, we are saying you are not getting more return. What we are saying is you are getting the same return with lesser risk. That's the advantage. Let's pick up some case studies. FMCG sector in 2017 to 2018, momentum, stable 12 months return, value, price running looked expensive. So value alone would have rejected it. Quality was very high, high ROE, strong margin. Multi-factor still picked FMCG leaders like HUL, Dabur, Nestle, and they outperformed defensives during macro slowdown. Second case study, lete hai, defense and capital goods in 2022 and 23. Momentum, explosive post Aat Nirbhar Bharat announcements. Value, order books not fully priced in initially. So decent entry valuation. Quality, strong cash flows for PSUs like Bell and HAL. Multi-factor caught the trend early versus plain value, which hesitated or plain momentum, which came late. Third case study, le lete, reality ki 2023 and 24. Mein. Momentum, real estate stocks showed 12 month rallies. Price to book value is still below pre-2010 level. Quality improving balance sheet, lower leverage, multi-factor overweight reality in 2023, leading to 2 to 3x moves in certain names. But nothing comes without pitfalls. So let's look at some of the pitfalls of multi-factor investing. So overfitting. Too many factors curve fit history. So solution is to keep 3 to 5 orthogonal factors. Now static weight. Market is dynamic. Solution is to use regime-based tilting. Overweight value after crash, overweight momentum in a bull run. Now there are some factors which are highly correlated. So you don't double count them. So price to earning or price to book value ko dekhe, bahut similar hai. 
better to mix different signals like volatility and dividend yield. At Intel Invest, हम एक और स्टेप ऐड करते हैं AI driven weighting. Model decide which factors matters right now. Regime switching logic includes the bubble indicator and macro data tilts. We also put risk filters and sectoral caps, beta neutral stance and volatility checks. We have a strategy which is called the Gold S25, which has all of this implemented. Now look at how the overall picture played out. In 2021 recovery, we tilted towards value. In 2022, volatility tilted towards quality. In 2023, bull run, momentum heavy. Result was a smoother return, lower drawdown and a smart rotation. So what are the key takeaways? Well, momentum is equal to speed. Value is equal to price. Quality is equal to strength. And momentum factor is the balance. Market change, but balance jeet jata hai. Just like a cricket team, with all-rounders, a multi-factor portfolio survives more matches and wins more series. In the next episode, we will cover risk management because investing is not just about chasing alpha. It is about staying alive in a beer market. Thanks. It's Manish signing off for today.